So, of course, we're still very much dealing with the coronavirus pandemic. And in the midst of all of this, the United States now has a monkeypox scare where 200 Americans are being monitored and tracked for the rare disease monkeypox. More than 200 people. Can you imagine what's going on? More than 200 people in 27 U.S. states are being tracked for possible rare monkeypox infections. They fear people may have come into contact with a Texas man who brought the disease in from Nigeria earlier this month. The man believed to be the first monkeypox case in the U.S. since 2003 was taken to a hospital, but is in a stable condition. So far, no new cases have been found. CDC is concerned passengers who were on two flights the man made may have been exposed. He flew into Atlanta, Georgia from Lagos, Nigeria on July 9th before taking a flight to Dallas, where he was hospitalized. The chances of the disease spreading on the plane were low because passengers had to wear face masks. Important detail that shouldn't be ignored. Um, if you don't know much about monkeypox, and I didn't know that much about it until I researched it today, monkeypox was first discovered in 1958. There were two outbreaks of a pox like disease. So pox like chicken pox, smallpox, pox like happened in colonies of monkeys that were being kept for research. That's where the name monkeypox came from. The first human case was recorded in 1970. And when we talk about contagious disease, we talk about the natural reservoir. Like, where is monkeypox right now? It, it's not known, but uh, African rodent species are suspected of playing a role in transmission. As the BBC article stated, the first U.S. case was in 2003. Um, there have been only 47 cases ever in the U.S. 200 people are now being monitored. And that initial introduction in 2003 is believed to be because of a shipment of animals from Ghana. In humans, the symptoms of monkeypox are similar to smallpox, but not as serious. They start with fever, headache, muscle aches and exhaustion. The main difference between smallpox and monkeypox is that with monkeypox, the lymph nodes tend to swell. The incubation period, meaning the time from when you are infected to when you have symptoms, is typically seven to 14 days. But like with all of these things, it's on a bell curve and it can actually range from five to 21 days. Within one to three days after the start of fever, there will often be a rash, often starting in the face and then spreading elsewhere. It tends to be a two to four week illness in Africa. And this is a horrifying number. In Africa, monkeypox has been shown to cause death in as many as 10 percent of those who are infected, 10 percent. Um, and that just again brings us back to so far the mortality, the lethality of covid is under one percent. Um, and we say, you know, imagine if we had a flu with an eight percent mortality rate or a 10 percent. OK. The virus enters through broken skin, even if the skin isn't visibly broken. It can enter through the respiratory tract, mucous membranes, meaning mucous membrane me membranes, meaning eyes, nose and mouth. Animal to human transmission can be a bite or a scratch, preparing meat, contact with bodily fluids. And the most common human to human transmission is uh, primarily through large respiratory droplets. There is no proven safe treatment for monkey pox virus at this time. Um, antivirus uh, antivirals as well as a vaccinia immune globulin or VIG can be used to try to deal with severity or symptoms. So uh, listen, this is like the absolute last thing we need right now. And of course, because the most common human to human transmission method is large droplet. And right now, because of the covid pandemic, passengers on flights are required to wear masks. The hope is that none of the 200 passengers that have been identified as exposed will actually end up being infected. But not exactly the news that we were hoping for. That's for sure. 
One of our sponsors today is Blue Chew, a unique online service delivering the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis in a chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. And they're giving my audience an entire month's supply for free. So if you think you could benefit from an extra boost of confidence when it's time All you have to do is take a short quiz on their website. A licensed doctor approves your prescription. The medication comes straight to your home within days in a discreet package. No driving around to the doctor's office or the pharmacy. No waiting around. No awkward conversations with your doctor. All of Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA. The entire process is just a few clicks. Go to BlueChew.com. The link is underneath this video. They'll give you an entire month's supply for free. When you use the promo code PACMAN, all you have to do is pay $5 shipping. 